When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. Good morning. It's my birthday. And I'm running late for work because I you know gonna go to work today um currently doing my hair in this like updo thing because i have plans after work so i don't want to have to worry about it and i'm almost done so just give me all the update but i'm just wearing like leather pants and i don't need chill all right so this is generally what i'm gonna look like it'll look cute when i slap just a bit of makeup and for right now moisturizer on it we're really just gonna do a chill look today. I don't dress up for work typically, so, um, and I'm really not now, so. Just eat. Where's my hair Yeah. Right, right, oh yeah, I guess. So, what I mean is, she, t she sent a counter, she she thought her counter was so bomb, she sent it to me. I keep it for when I need to counter so I can rewrite it and boom. But the bullet points I over I read over and I was like, okay, yeah, I did add a few things towards like the bottom, but essentially yes, that's all valid. Oh, it was it at the very bottom. Oh, I, you know what? I kind of had a feeling you had set it on the table or something. And it just went good. Just something in me. Just something in me. I know it from afar. All right. We just got out of the play. Trash. The end of my, uh, and then we're leaving. Oh, let's her. Because her birthday. Yes, yes. But it's not over yet. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I'm cracking up. But all right, I'm. We're gonna go home. Yeah. 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 That was a good one. That was good. Okay. I'm at work, but I had to pop out to go to a different location and pick something up. And I'll be there at chit chat for a second with my colleagues, and then I'm gonna grab a salad from Sweet Leaf. Obsessed with that place and they tend to be busy they're like chicken caesar slap so oh look at the skin oh you guys i'm actually really excited because um today i'm going to the we over like book tour thing in dc and i I'm so excited because I wanted to go to the one in Houston. The ticket sold out. The one in Arlington, Texas sold out. It was just really devastating. But I had to just take the L and just trust that it was going to work out. And then they released um, dates that they were coming to D.C. I snatched them tickets up real quick. Um, I bought a few outfit options for myself. And today I did not forget my makeup. So I'm really excited. I've been looking forward to this. And y'all like... I'm really outside this week. Like, I'm typically not doing something every single day, and that's exactly what I've been doing. So, Tuesday was my birthday, yesterday was my rest day, and then the event today, and then tomorrow after work, I'm gonna go home, and then. Y'all, I have like two days to pack for Atlanta. Um, 
and I'm debating on if I want to go to this Hawks game or not. Like, I really don't know. I really don't know. So I have, um, I have 30 minutes to do my hair, get dressed, and do my makeup, and I want to leave by 5.30, so this is just where I'm starting, and then I'm just going to show you guys what I end up wearing. I'm packed trousers, this corset top, which I just feel like complements my shape really well, and then just my oversized leather jacket, because I'm working on getting my outer pieces together, my outer wear together, but um, I just want to hurry up and do that, and Okay, so giving you guys an update. I it's seven, it's five seventeen. I'm I'm just throwing in some like big curls, so it can kind of be wavy. And y'all, why did I think that? so? Crystal Renee, she had posted like a photo, and it was like back like I never left, and it was just scenery. And I was like, oh, she's probably like back in New York. But now I'm thinking because one of the thing is that it's like special guest. She was in DC for she was on DC earlier this, earlier in 2022 doing promo for Zatima. And now I'm thinking, what if she's in DC as a special guest for their book thing? Is that a stretch? It's just giving me more like ammunition. Miss no opportunity now. When I'm getting ready to run upstairs to put my stuff, I'm going to I'm going to um what am I gonna do? And I forgot my products, y'all. That's what makes it tough. So these photos, my hair is gonna have flyaways and stuff. But it's cool. And I normally have give myself a moment to like figure out what I'm gonna say. Say, and I'm drawing a blank. Okay, I'll do one piece in the back and then I've done my hair. Makeup, I'm just applying mascara. I want to brush my teeth and then I am essentially ready. Oh, girl, one thing about it, I'm gonna do it every time. One thing I did not add though was some powder. Let me set and don't fret real quick and then once I do that I will apply my lip okay just wanted to give out that update I gotta clean everything up and I said I was gonna do a piece in back okay I am ready and I'm calling the hooper uh it'll give me that at six I cut this for five o'clock Oh, it's two minutes away.
me welcome Jeanette to the stage. Thank you. at work at least during the commercials we might uh, but we're, we're gonna get real we're gonna get deep tonight if you guys know uh, Deval and Kadeen you know that that's their model right they, they get real it's unfiltered I do want to know though get a bit of, a, of the lay of the land here who's single show hand it's okay it's okay all right well hopefully you all feel inspired and get some clarity tonight and um, I walk out of here and, and feel like I'm ready to make a decision, right? Personally, in my life. All right, so uh, let's get to it here. Uh, I want to introduce you to the uh, stars of the night here. Deval is a former NFL player, now an actor and star on Tyler Perry's Sisters and his very own spinoff uh, show, Satima on BT. Kadeen is a former entertainment reporter, content creator, actress, and businesswoman. They are the parents of four beautiful boys. And together they are the co-creator of the Alice's on YouTube and their Webby award-winning podcast, Dead Ass, which they live by. Uh, join me in welcoming Kadeen and Deval. to go into a relationship and say, what can I do to be of service to this person, right? We're always thinking about what can this person do for me? But it wasn't until we started to be of service to each other that we got the best versions of each other for each other. Yeah. When I really think about even just, you my baby, And that was all the top two, I ain't gonna write that down. That's very good, that's very good. No, I just think about Deval and relationship. We were together for 13 years together eight, married five, before we even figured this service thing out, right? Who, who listens to the podcast? Me. Yeah. Like so what role does faith play in your um, counterintuitive approach to your marriage relationship? Mm -hmm. Great question. Thank you, That's a great question. Could even go up seven day events and oh, wow. I grew up okay. after seven months. So for us, faith is important because we both feel like God is going to reveal himself to you in his own way. And when we talk about the counterintuitive approach, so many people are always looking outward for answers about their relationship, right? We look inward and we look to God, right? Um, we believe in a more traditional, traditional marriage where I'm more of a servant leader and they say she's submissive, but she follows me because I follow God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So my bestie is a real one for getting this footage. So I got the moment to talk to Denora, who owns the talent management company, Bodega 7, and she manages um, the Ellis's, Chris Renee, Devon Franklin, all my fave Gia Peppers, you name it. Okay, so we just left. We're right, getting, waiting on our ride. Oh, it's a good and picture. Oh, that's when he said, love the picture. I'm crying. Oh my God. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah. No, that's good. I don't, girl, I know mine's is probably looking you crazy. You look good. But, um, Y'all, just know it's an extra story coming because yeah. God be moving, be working, be doing what he needs to do. Because the dots, one thing they're going to do is always connect. Always. Period. They're going to line up. They're going to connect. Not crisscross, not confusion, not, no TikTok. Right. God is not the end. Uh, well, actually, yeah, TikTok because they connect. <laughs> 
<laughs> God is not the author of confusion. Never. That's first and foremost. So we already know what the vibes is. Yeah. Um, and I love this for us. Yeah. I'm so proud of my friend. Yes. I just need y'all to know now. You we, saw it here first, y'all. You saw it here first, y'all. Um, just, just know she coming. Know the yeah. name. Brooklyn Simone. Come on. 20, hey, baby, 26, <laughs> 26 was the year of being produced by Faith. So it's up, oh, okay, it's no up from here. I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. The vibe. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus uh, says uh, yes, uh, nobody uh, can uh, say uh, no. What's the oh. verse? Because I'm not, mm hmm. Don't know the Don't rest know. of words. <laughs> Don't know. Guys, I'm back home. I got y'all set up on the side. About to set my phone up. We're about to get started with makeup. So this is finally my birthday weekend. And y'all, the girl is tired. Like, I've not been outside like this since, like, a uh, college homecoming. I ain't seen my best friend like this since high, since college. Like, I didn't see this girl every day except one day, y'all. And that's wild. I, mean, I ain't mad at it. So, here's the tea. I saw everybody, like, 8.30. And it's, like, 7.50. I'm just gonna start out with my makeup. And I have no idea what I want to wear very much on brand first things first get some on lids okay i think y'all tired to watch me get ready so i'm gonna figure out my birthday glam i don't even know what makeup look i want but i'm gonna just do eyes first and figure it out and i'm gonna listen to finish listening to this um devon franklin sermon while i get ready because it was good when i was listening to it at work told my friend I'm just starting my makeup um because she's gonna pick me up and she's like girl but I don't make the rules okay I don't I'm gonna be this lord okay I have so many beverages up here it's not even funny I'm gonna give y'all a peek of what my room looking like but after that y'all can't see nothing all right let's go on and get to the money and I still have to do my hair love that for me let me take out all these makeup brushes this face looks so chaotic it's not even funny. okay i'm gonna do a look that i practiced just because i practiced it so i know it should somewhat come out good. i'm cracking up because like all of my friends I like FaceTiming me to see like what's the ETA and we're still all bare face practically and I just love that for us. I don't think I like my eyeshadow but it's just one of those things where it's like I'm here now and yeah I'm gonna have to just deal with it. Um, yeah. I don't know. I want to do like a, a full updo. Friends, I want to do a full updo. Shoot, that's not even make it. Okay. If I were to do. Practically won't be on the top of my head. Like something messy middle pieces. This is the look. Okay. I thought I had like a little clippy. Okay, back to it. I'm about to take a break from my makeup because I'm not really pressed over it right now. And I am one of those girlies who I need to I need to sit with the look. Mm, this spray, this tower spray will definitely be hitting. So I'm gonna let the look sit for a second and I'm gonna get into this hair. My friend, where's the jam?
trying to get it off. Okay, wait. Wait. Okay. Oh, my elbow ashy. Not you spraying elbow. Yeah, because that elbow is ashy. I'm curtain out. How much aim is coming? Let me say, don't play back with me. I just want to show you the look because you're missed. Hey, friend. Your skin looks amazing. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, can you use these to cut? Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I meant to tell you earlier, like, oh, how's Amy doing? I was like, dang, you really care about the girl. <laughs> yeah. No, literally. He had me cracking up, though. I was like, dang, you thinking about Amy? No, but now you know what? Everybody's like, talking all the time. So, like, it's really so funny. And no, it really is. Oh, it's a dress. I'll have, um, try to show you. I should have brought the shoes in here. I don't know. Let me turn it like this. Oh my gosh, it's really given, you know, bad me. And it's the Zara dress. So cute. So, so cute. Ask Amy the shoes. Okay, let's, uh, stay here. Let me grab it. I like the silver. What do you think? I like the silver. Treasure boats, boats pink. But the pink shoe is just so fire. That's probably why I feel that but way. But I just wore the pink shoe in my last post. Okay, we're going with silver, so cool. All right, I got to do my lips, so I got to brush my teeth. But, you know, I had to show you the look. Because you be asking for pictures. Huh? I didn't even see your makeup. Wait. Oh, you did the glitter. Yeah. Oh, it looks cute. Yeah. Oh, girl, you better get lost in this tonight. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> okay y'all it's, it's 9 30 but we on the way now i gotta text all the people that i'm on the way Bye. hey girl hey you know the girl came you know what's funny right before i came here say hi hi how's it going hi how are If you couldn't already see, you guys, I am tired, but the day still goes on. I have to clean up the aftermath of yesterday with my makeup station because I'm getting ready to go out to brunch and I want to take you guys with me. So just watch me get my makeup done and me get my life together. Okay, on our way to brunch, we're actually on time. I can't show that, but on time. 
and um yeah it's gonna be a great day i like the outfit i've had this dress for over a year and i'm finally able to wear it so love it for me gold accessories i'm actually wearing gold and silver so whatever um so my shoes have a little silver thing i really need to invest in like more pieces but this is the most i've really been outside so i've never really had to worry about that but i want to wear earrings to like make everything pop like in the hair and y'all be getting into the home stretch of the weekend Thank you for the good time, the fellowship. Just thank you for everything. You feel so blessed. I'm going to wait till you're Way better. These are way better than the pancakes at the other spot. I mean, the French doll. Now we're having it. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Is anything to the side? Any syrup or ketchup? Hot sauce? Hot sauce, hot sauce. Wow, wait, I gotta show you guys your food. was good y'all it did give what it needed to it was good service was great shout out to chuck and vera um and i'm ready to go home i need to relax i need to clean i need to start packing for atl um girls we got a girls in motion we give you up to go ship up we got girls in motion bye bye I'm going to set up this monitor so that it projects what I'm recording. I just don't know how. And I feel like I might need to order another piece. Um, okay, but I gotta go to church, so... I'm back from church and I am just going to start getting ready for the movies and I am going to do like a turtleneck sweater with just some leggings. I, my motto for the movies is always to just go comfy, like to be cozy and all that good stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. And y'all, yeah, the message today at church literally confirmed one. It confirmed a message that I heard earlier this week. I listened to it was a Devon Franklin message. Um, I'm trying to put up a snippet or whatever. And just so good. And this is how I know God is talking to me because in the Devon Franklin sermon, he mentioned um, that the word says the people will perish for lack of vision. And my pastor today said the same thing. And he, um, the name of the series is It Is Written. And that's actually um, in alignment with the event that I hosted called Pushing the Pen back in um, 2022, December. And I got a vision of a, because not too much, I ain't gonna share that yet. But um, it ain't nothing like God answering you. I tell you that. Um, I have not started packing for Atlanta. I don't even know how I want to divvy up my vlogs, y'all. One thing I'm trying to do, let me look touch task. I think I'm going to go burgundy. One thing I'm trying to do is, one, I'm trying to get in the habit of just vlogging more, you know, to eliminate the issue of, like, not having content. 
and then as I do that my next step is working on intentional editing like not just speeding through it just to you know because after day three of trying to edit some stuff y'all I'm over it you know because you gotta um find the music and like actually to me finding music to go with your videos is um is like the hardest thing sometimes um because it has to make sense it's like to me i look at creating content as like you know creating a movie um the songs you select have to make sense for the scenes and everything like that and i rushed through it so in 2023 i'm hoping to just fix that and yeah going back to what i was saying about like the vision or whatever um i'm hoping that i release the episode of the pursuit before i release this vlog because i'm just been holding on to it for a long time but i'm gonna link it or have it pop up on the screen so y'all can check it out because i talk more about it and y'all get to see a snippet of me working on the pushing the pen event and the content of the event and yeah but um fast back forward i'm gonna do these because they're like waffle knit they're super thick it's like rainy today um and these hug me really nicely i have to pack and right now i'm just focusing on editing content on my phone um so i can you know up have like my tiktok set and then that's like one last thing i have to worry about and i could just focus on like the first vlog i want to focus on is um treasure's birthday weekend then i'll do the nashville trip then i'll do my birthday week and then i'll do atlanta and that's a lot and that's a lot um and at first i would try to just get my videos to be like 15 to 20 minutes but um monet mcmichael i think that's her name she has like an hour-long vlogs and and yes i know i'm not like on her status or anything but i'm gonna just share the story that i want to share and whoever want to watch gonna watch like not too much i don't care my other vlogs like i've been running and running and running and running this was like I was running with something to do every single weekend the last weekend of September all the way to the end of December right cool and I was like oh I'm looking forward to like not having nothing to do or whatever and then from the end of January to the end of February I'm, I'm having something to do and I just think it's funny and I think and I tell this to say that sometimes something that we dread is is putting us in us is preparing us something that we don't look forward to is molding us it's developing us and it's like what in your life do you dread sometimes that is actually preparing you what in your life that you dread sometimes is actually developing you because even though like i ain't been outside like this since college i um am feeling good because i used to be if i wasn't getting enough sleep and stuff like I would be moody, irritable, and my spirit and stuff would be off. But I think about the things that I'm trying to do and how much how I'm trying to approach my life, and it's like that's going to be a time where I'm going to be busy. I'm going to be occupied. I'm going to be having things to complete, things to do, meetings to go to, auditions, blah 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 blah. And what is my disposition going to give? So it's like I look at I'm looking back and forward currently and I'm like I'm going to take it as a time of preparing how I'm approaching each day each conversation um I don't know if that makes sense but good I'm really excited to go to Atlanta because I'm taking a trip with one of my best friends Mia y'all haven't seen her in a minute and that's my girl that's my home girl phone charging stuff and I'm gonna see y'all later